Welcome everybody to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Carberg and today we're going to be having a look at the US dollar. So as we know, the US dollar has been on a bit of a tear in recent times and this has largely been due to its strength in the in the wake of inflation recessionary press pressures going across the rest of the world. However, last week what we saw was a bit of a pullback and this was due to some more encouraging employment figures or rather poor employment poor employment figures which show that potentially recession is uh, inflation is starting to slow down and also another 75 basis point rise in the US dollar. Now what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the US dollar and then see how potentially we can use the weakness of the US dollar to either enter a trade or the signs of reversal using a different currency. So first thing is we're looking at the dollar index and what as I said what we can see is this on the weekly chart guys and of course we've had this massive upward move um, we've just it's almost been parabolic until last week where we finally seen a bit of weakness and as we get our fib levels we can kind of so we started about here and we can see we pulled back almost to the initially we pulled back to this 23 um, percent level um, before trying to break through the 114 and then falling back now we had a, pr a red candle and then since then we haven't been able to close above which again is a sign of potential weakness or reversal or you know a potential entry into this but as we have a look at the daily chart um, what we can see is we had a pretty strong take out SPIB and what we can see is that basically going back to all the way let's just keep going all the way really since middle of 2021 We've been in this long trend and we've bounced off this 50 day average really every time. Now, we did it here recently and was a pretty strong bounce. And now we've had a really aggressive red candle. And bear in mind, guys, we haven't had a candle like this in a long time. And this may signal quite a bearish shift. We are still sitting on this support level, just at about um, 110. So potentially, if we test this again and we have another green candle, it may be a good opportunity to take the long. Um, as you can see, let's just get rid of this. A long trade um, entry here. Let's just adjust to the top um, with it moving that stop loss is about 2.2 risk rewards. So that's pretty decent um, if we're looking to get it. However, another um, pair that we might like to utilize this with is the Aussie Aussie dollar US. So the Aussie has been at the same time as the US has been ripping. The Aussie has been really weak, and again, this has largely been due to it being seen as a growth currency or a growth asset. And in recent times, the RBA has been much softer in its stance or in its rate hikes, especially compared to countries such as the US and England. Now, what we can see is we're at low, really low levels that we haven't really seen since the middle of the beginning of COVID and the GFC. But what we have seen is that we've got a nice bounce off that support level, a really significant candle on pretty good volume, as you can see, and that may indicate that we are at the bottom. Now, as we, what we can, another thing is that our targets can be this 5,200 week average um, in the in the short term. You know, stick your stop plus a little bit below, um, and then you know that might be a short-term trade or, or, or a medium-term trade. As we look at the daily, similar kind of pattern. Um, just over here, some pretty decent volume, and that's kind of what we're looking for now. We are about to test this 50 day moving average. And if we can get through, then we may have a nice short term target at 70 cents, which again is that 200 day moving average. Um, but that, you know, that may be a good entry for a short. Um, but this is the really the kicker, this volume and this candle. Um, we have we weren't we haven't been able to retest the support at 61 cents yet. Um, and we bounced off pretty convincingly. So again, if we can break through this 67, 65 cent level, it may be the sign of a, a short term reversal. But there you go, guys. Thank you for watching and good luck trading.